During this weekend, um, we've got a group of practitioners and members of the public who are really interested in reversing their health problems and turning their health around. Um, so it's really understanding the principles of detoxification and how to apply a diet that's appropriate to their individual case. I think one of the problems with understanding the healing process is actually sticking to a program for a long enough period of time so that the body can regenerate itself. And what people come away from this course is actually having a core understanding of the fabric of their body, the integrity of it, and how much work needs to go in in order to rebuild that. Also, from the point of view of it's not just a simple thing to go on a detoxification program. You have to understand whether your body can cope with the removal of the toxicity. So by understanding how the liver in the individual case will, is likely to handle the toxins, you can apply the program appropriately. So it's really learning the formula and the fundamental principles to make the program work for you. Yes, they will know how to do it. There's a good workbook. They have access to me through the um, Smart Patient website. They're invited to join that. So they're not left high and dry. They'll have enough information written um, and then they can ask questions afterwards. No, we always have a range of both practitioners and just members of the public. And we have patients who or people, I should say, who have a chronic disease and they want to actually maybe come off their drugs or they don't want to go down the orthodox route. So they're looking at a treatment that is going to actually work for them. Practitioners probably get um, the most out of the course in the sense that they can, it opens up a whole world for them where they can see how they can be more effective in their businesses and their management of patients. One of the biggest problems that practitioners have is they put a patient on a program, give them the supplements, and a few months later they may not have made massive inroads or the disease is very chronic and needs more specialised management. By learning my program you can actually help continue to help the patient for month after month after month because you're monitoring specific symptoms and you're watching the reversal of those, but you're also able to determine which symptoms are the really important ones. So for example, if some of, if, if a patient's symptoms are resolving, but they're not the core ones that you know need to resolve, you can then focus your treatment on those core symptoms. So it opens up the clinical application in your practice. It opens it right up. You get taught an awful lot about the disease process, but you don't get taught a lot about the healing process. And very often you'll, you get taught what products actually you give to patients with specific labels. That's not the same as taking the patient on a healing journey when you're rebuilding the constitution. So for example, with liver detoxification, there's a lot of products out there that you would give to a patient to assist the liver detoxification process, but do they work? It's actually, unless you remove the burden from the liver, which is the problem in the first place, just by taking products can increase its burden and the patient may not get very far. I like to have a range of people. I like to have a few practitioners. I like to have members of the public who are really interested in diet and detoxification, who've got some ground knowledge, so they're at a certain stage. It, it really isn't for beginners, but also people who, we do always get a few people who are desperately looking for answers. Um, to do healing the natural way. I get a lot of people who've read about the Gerson therapy. They want to meet me, they want to explore what I have to offer and they want to be able to self-manage their chronic illness a lot better. A lot of people are very confused because there's so many 
uh, treatments and products out there that all claim to do miraculous things, they don't actually know whether those products will actually get them to where they want to go. So by doing the program and by working their own individual case, they're in a much better position to discriminate between what would be likely to help the most and what would not be worth looking at. What, no, what the scores show is, for example, like yesterday, we might have had a lot of people here who are thinking, oh great, my digestion's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay? And other people would be thinking, oh, I've got a score that's, so mine's not so perfect. And today, people who thought that they were perfect yesterday suddenly have a big liver score. What that means is that you're now focused on what it is that you need to treat where, you're, where your focus is and what symptoms you want to see reversed. It's like that lady, when she listed all her symptoms, she listed them because that's just what was wrong with her, that's what she wanted fixing. What you've got are symptoms that may be not bothering you, but you can see from this um, teaching that if you don't stop them here, they could well go into the next column. Mm -hmm. So it's better to pull up now. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So you've got a, a pattern of disharmony that's going to evolve, and there's nothing to say that it's not going to evolve further unless you take steps to reverse that. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to be good when we have the chat room, yeah. is that I'll be able to answer small questions if something merits, if I can see that there's something where you need a fuller explanation, I'll either direct you to somewhere where you can look at that, because there's quite a bit of stuff on my website in any case. Mm -hmm. But very often you just need, the penny has to drop, mm -hmm. and it can be one phrase that someone says, and you think, ah, isn't it? The Gerson diet is for patients with cancer or a very chronic degenerative disease um, where they, nothing can be offered. Usually that's when they come. Yeah. What, what I've shown you is that you can, it's possible to follow the principles of detoxification, high potassium, low sodium diet, lots of vegetables, whole foods, it's sufficient protein but not too much, so it's restricted but it's sufficient and we're taking all the nasty fats out, so we're reducing the fat. So it's by taking, you can take the burden off the system. Mm -hmm. You can go in with detoxification, but you can use four juices a day. Are they supplements? Are we having less uh, supplements? I very those? rarely uh, promote, yes, less supplements. I don't, I'm not a big supplement promoter. I do use quite a lot of lipoic acid and the glycidin that I was talking about. Um, but generally, if, I, if you remember the analogy that I gave you about supplements, if you're on a building site and you've got state-of-the-art equipment, but the, the building blocks that are coming in are rotting and not good, you're going to not be able to repair. So the diet is the fundamental program. Now, granted, we do have selenium deficiencies Patients may be magnesium deficient, there may be iodine deficiencies, and like in the patient that we looked at, there was a deep vitamin A deficiency. There's nothing wrong with supplementing to make good those deficiencies.